Good afternoon, everybody. Dr. Ratan Sirhevadi, Director in Laraj. Dr. Mail, our WHO country representative. Professor Hema Malikarela and other pediatrician. All the members of the Sri Lanka Association of Child Development. All the members of the PSM categories represent here. Representatives of supporting services of child development, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely sorry for the delay because I had in the meeting with Chief Moe regarding very sensitive two or three issues. That was the reason, the reason for the delay. I am very much happy to be present here today because this is very important event to our healthcare system. We are allocating a lot of resources to the health system through our annual budget. In some areas we are performing very well, but in some areas our systems are not up to the standard. I can remember when you consider year 2005, we have allocated Sri Lankan rupees million thirty-eight thousand to the year 2005 through annual health care budget. But year by year, according to the requirement, we have gradually increased the amount allocated for the health. And especially, I should mention here, always government is giving priority for allocation of health sector and education sector. Because we are maintaining free health care in our country. Expenditure of health care we consider as a, not as an expenditure, real expenditure, but it is some sort of investment in for human development. So that is the policy of Sri Lankan government. That is the reason why always we are allocating comparatively a lot of money to the healthcare sector. Year 2005, it is 38,000 million Sri Lankan rupees, but it comes to the year 2012, it was 100, 100,000 million Sri Lankan rupees. But when you consider the year 2030 next year, it is approximately 125,000 million Sri Lankan rupees. That means we are gradually expanding our healthcare services and improve the quality by allocating required resources. Especially when you need multi-sectoral coordination and cooperation for the implementation process, it is vital to have a proper system because even though we are giving a lot of money and we are maintaining very huge healthcare system, but sometimes we are having system failures. That is very, very important because uh, as a ministry, it is one of the main responsibility of the ministry of implementing proper systems in our healthcare sector. When you get the area of child development, main responsibility is with the Minister of Health. Early detection and providing of new medical facilities should be done by the Minister of Health. Most of the times, you may need additional resources, proper training facilities and a special education systems. Sometimes vocational training may be helpful. Then our system should include Minister of Finance, Minister of Education and Minister of Vocational Training. Sometimes other additional uh, ministries also we can take as the main stakeholders. Finally, to complete the system, you have to link with the Ministry of Social Services because it is the ministry which is having main responsibility of disabled persons. I think this is very important. Now, some activities 
even though we, we are playing main role as a health sector, but we need a lot of cooperation and uh, support from other, other sectors which are <coughs> really uh, outside the health sector. Now one example, when you are implementing some very comprehensive, uh, very good program, we need really additional resources. When you consider the requirement of additional resources, automatically Ministry of Finance be become very important stakeholder. Then especially when you think about the special need children or disabled children, sometimes education sector is the one of the main very, very important sector because we have to organize some good training systems there, then sometimes we have to do a lot of things with the education sector. So even though we are having main responsibility, but we have to link with education and sometimes vocational training. And we, then another very important factor is as a government that main responsibility of the disabled persons with the Ministry of Social Services. So, we have to think about that. When we are organizing this type of systems, always we have to organize these people from representatives from relevant sectors. 